congratulations through to a preliminary final. What did you think, Craig, of the way they did it tonight? Um, yeah, I never thought I'd get that question, but um, yeah, I think we made real hard work of it, to be quite honest. Although the old, I thought that, you know, our ability to hang in there and, you know, it, it felt like the first 20 or 30 minutes we were on top, but we couldn't quite, you know, we were 6 0, but we couldn't sort of, you know, squeeze that extra points. And then, you know, we, we scored. And, um, but after that, I thought, you know, we were sort of chasing our tails for a fair bit of it. You know, the, that 10 minutes before half time when we just defended our try line, you know. I was hoping that it wasn't going to gas us too much, but I, th I think it did. To be quite honest, it was it was a yeah, you know, and we done a really good job there. You know, until the end when Brandon sort of barged over from from dummy half, but um, you know, so that was a tough period of play for us. But yeah, again, I think some of our options at times were poor, and I think you know, I think their kicking game was much superior to ours. So that's something we'll need to have a look at for next week. How proud are you of the response, though, from the team, given how things unfolded in Brisbane last week? Yeah, obviously, uh, you know, really proud of you know how how we stuck in there. Like I say, it wasn't pretty, uh, without a doubt, but um, you know, we needed to come back with a display like that after last week. You know, we we're all really disappointed in in uh, how we performed last week. And again, you know, we're not. It's just not the players. It's you know, obviously, you know, we helped prepare. So you know, there's some things probably we didn't do so well either. So. Um, yeah, but just, you know, really, really impressed with how, how the club fought back after, you know, all being disappointed last week and, um, yeah, so we lived to fight another day. Craig, what do you make of, of Will's try um, any, any season really to sort of pull that one from nowhere for you? Yeah, he's, he's scored a lot of tries for us this year, Will, and, you know, he's, um, you know, it's take, taken him a little a little while to get used to our game, and um, but you know to come from rugby union sevens, which is a different game to our game. So, but um, yeah, really been you know very impressed with you know his the progress that he's made, and um, yeah, that was one of the, one hell of a big play that night. You know, like to, it was the only time we done it all night uh, as well. You know, that might be a little message for us as well. But um, yeah, like. Um, you know, that contest, you know, would have done justice over, over the road, I'd imagine. So, um, yeah, like I say, if we haven't come up that play, we lose. So that's how big a play it is. Craig, did Harry cop those up to the head in the last minute? Yeah, I think he got a, yeah, he got knocked down there. I don't think it was, it was long before Will scored the try, I, I don't think. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I, I'm not, I don't, you yeah. know. I don't, he didn't have to come off, so I, I wouldn't imagine it was too much. But I think he he caught a bit of a high shot down there. Yeah. How's how's Tui? Yeah, I, I haven't actually seen him actually, but um, uh, I haven't heard anything either. So um, I, I don't think it was too bad to be quite honest. I, yeah, but anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll see. You know, he'll obviously be getting assessed at some stage. So you know, I imagine that would be happening now or happening just after the game. So. Um, yeah, but yeah, I haven't heard anything other than that. Mate, what about the performance of um, Tyron Wishart? They obviously scored that early try. Yeah, yeah, no, he, um, no yeah, he, I, I thought he'd done a really good job. And again, it's, you know, to come into that spot, um, you know, in such a big game, it, it, it's not easy to do, you know. He obviously had a bit of practice up there when we played Brisbane in the last round. He, he played it half and, and played a really good game for us, you know. Um, you know, usually didn't train all week, so he basically trained, you know, trained there all week. So I think that was a, a, a bit of a bonus for him and for us. If you know, if he if Uzi dropped out captain's run, well, he wouldn't have had hardly any practice at all. But yeah, I, I just you know, really impressed with the way he he went about his work. Um, yeah, again, I think him and Munster you know, could have kicked a bit better, but yeah, you know, that's been <laughs> a little bit you know harsh. You know, I, I just thought. In the circumstances, had he come in to the team in, with a you know a big game like this against a, a, an opposition that had won the last eight games, you know, there he uh, his performance was outstanding. Were there anything said to Nick Meaney this week um, in his preparation? Did he just seem to have a blinder out there tonight? Yeah, I I, I, th I thought 
you know, probably not giving too much away. I thought he was our best player. Like, he, he, he was outstanding, and especially, you know, defensively under those high kicks. He, he, he never looked like missing the boot, you know, and he made some really important runs for us. Um, no, again, you know, I, I don't know whether, you know, having Paps around the last couple of weeks is, you know, might have had him thinking he might be, you know, moved to other positions, you know, during the games. <laughs> Obviously, you know, that, that wasn't happening tonight, but, um, but he's, you know, he's had one hell of a year, Nick, you know, in, the, in that position. And, um, yeah, I just thought he, he was really outstanding tonight. Yeah, so we're really proud of him. And, you know, Paps was here too, so I'm sure, you know, he's been giving him, you know, a few tips or, and I'm sure Nick's asked him a little bit of advice as well. I think they're both a chance. I, yeah, I, I'm not quite sure. I, I think Jerome's a better chance than Xavier uh, at the moment. So, but yeah, until until they start running, and you know, I think you know Xavier's still in in the boot. So, um, but having said that, I've seen guys in boots for seven days, and then they're playing two days later. So um, yeah, so we'll see how the week goes. I, I'm not haven't really sort of heard too much of the from the medical staff, you know, the later end of the week because we're just being concentrating on preparing for the game. So um, hopefully, you know, tomorrow they'll, you know, they'll probably do a little bit of training tomorrow or an assessment by the medical team and then we'll go from there. Oh, just decisions in that game, officiating decisions in that game, Harry knock on that wasn't given. You could probably concede now that was a knock on, I assume, that Harry knock on in front of the post. I, yeah, um, I, I didn't have a look at the replay. I thought, I thought live, yeah, it looked like it. Yeah, yeah. yep. And then obviously, um, you know, at the end of the game when I think Harry Harry caught one in the face and they didn't they didn't uh, give a penalty for it. Didn't the video bunker didn't rule it either? Did you have an issue with that? The hip drop as well, which you know, was it? again, I didn't have a close to the, the Harry one when he got hit high. I thought. Nearly every game this year, that would have been a penalty, but at the end of the day, it wasn't. So um, the hip drop thing, I didn't sort of really watch too closely. So is I'm that a concern sure. that we're having that? You know, we've got a couple of huge incidents in a game like that that have played a big part in the result. Well, I think it would have been, yeah. Again, like you know, if we get beat by a point, you know, <laughs> we might be talk, talking more about. You know, we don't want to sweep it under the carpet either. Type thing. You know, at the end of the day, it's. Um, you know, if there is different rules in the finals, well, just just let us know. But like I say, at the end of the day, I I didn't look at them closely. Um, as I said, I thought Harry did drop that ball, and you know, that, that that was a big call or a big non-call or whatever. But having said that, you know, there's you know, it's hard to you know blame the referee for everything. You know, he's got touch judges and guys in the yeah you know, in the bunker and that sort of stuff. So. At the end of the day, it's yeah. You know, I, I can't really control any of that, so I, I, I don't really want to. And I just hope I can do my job. Christian, you got Penrith now. You lost four of your last five against them. Talk to us about that challenge. Oh, it's pretty tough, isn't it? Penrith and Penrith. Yeah, mate. They've been the, the best team. What in the last three or four years been so dominant, and um, yeah, we're going to give it a red hot crack and. You know, we've lost twice this year, but we've also led the game twice. Um, so, I th yeah, look, we're, we're confident we can go down there and, and get a result, but obviously we have a big appreciation and respect for Penrith as a football side, um, how good they are and how they've been able to stay at the top and still lose talented players every year. Um, yeah, they're, they're all class. What do you got to do against them? <laughs> Everything perfectly, right? Or what, what, have you to, what have you got to do really well? Just, just to score more points at all. Oh, yeah. Classic, yeah. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, You've been just... rolling out for 20 years. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't play any goals for any, I tell you. Yeah, oh, they're just so good at choking teams out. They play, they know who they are. They're very comfortable. Um, play really high percentage. Um, you know, they got guys like Dylan Edwards, Brian Toe, start their sets well, and then Fisher Harris and um, the big boys start rolling, and then Cleary will kick you to death. And then, yeah, it's. It's a pretty nasty thing to get caught in, so you've got to try and combat that and complete well and be really disciplined and um, you know, try and win that arm wrestle and play the long game. Were you prepared as though Jerome Lewis was playing in that game, Craig? Do you oh, yeah, I think so. You know, what's obviously uh, the game last week, young, young Cogger, he was 
play really well, you know, so they, they don't really didn't seem to lose a lot there. But you know, obviously, you know, Jerome's been a really important player for them for you know with their, their premiership win. So I, I don't know whether you'll play or not, to be quite honest. Um, you know, <laughs> again, I'm not, you know, I'm not in the club, not in the four walls. So um, I'm, I'm not even quite sure what, he, what the injury is. But um, yeah, like I say, uh, it, you know, they'd obviously like to have him in there. Um, and that's up to them. Yeah, you know, we've got the same sort of problem with, with Uzi, you know, so um, yeah, all we can control is, you know, how we how we handled him this week and they're the same with uh, Jerome. Last couple of weeks. Two Jeromes. Well, 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 can you tell us a bit about how the guys kept their heads in that last ten minutes? Because you're right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it seemed after after the drop goal, it seemed like anything could have happened from there, and like you, chant, you weren't getting many chances. How did the guys keep their heads and get it done at the end? You're asking a front row who's it's not really my domain. There, the setting up for field goals and the big plays, but um, yeah, look, the spine did a great job, and and I think we got a result from a bit of line speed and putting them under pressure, and they forced a pass, and that was from our edge there. I think it was our left edge that got us that result, and mm. yeah. You know, big players put the kick on the mark, but you also need a guy like Will Warbrick to, to get up. He's a pretty incredible athlete. You know, that Roosters winger, he got up real well as well. It was a pretty good contest in the air, so, yeah, great result. I mean, that's that was the difference tonight, wasn't it, that we're sitting in here and we're playing in a prelim now because of that kick result, I guess. So, yeah. <laughs> Very unnatural in open space. Yeah, no, I don't belong there. I reckon I would have got first in oh, hey. <laughs> With the finals around the corner, NRL on 9 has your cup. From match highlights, press conferences, and don't forget, Fred in the 8. Of course. NRL on 9 has you covered for everything. One-stop shop. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a moment.